Okay, well, we're sort of Pangea-like, which is nice. Same same map as last time, same shuffle map, and instead of getting tiny little islands, we got basically a giant Pangea. Pottery in one turn. I'm going to make a run-up for writing so we can get our libraries early-ish. I don't think we need walls too early. We don't need mining that quickly, although it is really nice. Well is really nice too. You know what, that's such a long beeline. We will take mining and then work our way up to writing. I think that's going to be alright. I'm going to keep saving my money to quickly buy that tile over there. Oh, and I got to change my production. Start on that settler. Uh, we weren't just about to grow, are we? No, seven turns. All right, swap that around then. Come back down. Come back down. Yeah, this is because I still have a fallout on my brain, so it's the official gear of my fallout thing. When you have a puppeted city, you can rename puppeted city by right-clicking on the name within city view. Really? That's interesting. Also, I gotta rename people. So, I mean, because there's this edit button here, which is normally what I click, and that's not there on a puppet. But if I right-click here, it does let me rename it. So that, you're saying I can still rename puppets. That's great! Also, uh, I need to name some people after things. I'm gonna open up the Extra Life thing, because the Extra Life Charity Fundraiser, one of the things the $50, donation, $50 donation would get you, um, is... A, bring this up, um, is your name would be used for something prominent. So, let's go to the earliest ones over here. And the first donation of $50 or more, we have got Paul Chernyakov. There we go. Chernyakov is, of course, everyone knows, the capital of Greaseland, which is where we're from. Oh! Um, looks like Sweden took out of that barbarian encampment, which is good. Okay, so we're just gonna go and sit here. We actually have basically full vision of the this area, so I'm gonna be okay with that. Oh, I probably have to reset this since we can't grow. There we go. So throw in the tiles, which will shave three turns off that settler. Good. Um, I don't know. Move here. It'll be a little safer, and that'll be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess we better spot what's in there. Yeah, you just sit tight, buddy. You're there to spot from barbarians. If we can snag this area... I mean, just this area is good in general. What a great site. It's not on the coast, though. Huh. And I saw some people suggest, like, moving somewhere else to get this marble, which would be good. Coast is nice. We can build some ships, which we may or may not want to use on this map. It's still good for taking out a few people. There's no fish or anything down here. I like the river spots for the increased trade power, which would be here. One, two, three. Yeah, it doesn't get the marble. Huh? This. What this? One, two. No. I literally have to be here or closer. I mean, I could settle literally right next to Petra, or not Petra, Old Faithful. What would be interesting about that, it would turn the desert tile from worthless to something that's actually quite good. Because your, your city tile always has a certain base production. That would potentially let us compete for some of this stuff, although it's most likely we'll lose some of it to what I presume is the Swedish capital, which will have a higher influence. I just like this spot defensively. It's not that far from my capital. It'll be easy to reinforce. We don't need a long road to connect it to. We don't get quite as much border friction over here. If they attack me, they got to march through all this desert, which is really slow. I think I like this spot just because it looks good. I think that's it. 
It's just making me happy to look at. Uh, the horse tile wouldn't be bad either. If you settle on it, of course you do get it. It means it's a lot easier to pick up Old Faithful. In fact, we could just buy it as our very first tile. We won't have to wait about an expansion. We don't get to improve the horse tile with a pasture, but we get the horses. And if we build a stable later on, we still get the bonus. We do lose these cows. In fact, these cows will basically never belong to any city. That would be disappointing. Coastal Forest Tile, also a very good spot. Again, still sort of gets the bonus of um, the desert, you know, slow walking. And one thing to remember is all natural wonders count as mountains, so people can't shoot through Old Faithful. So it's going to limit the ability for people to advance, and in fact, it'll bottleneck them quite a bit, which is very cool and sexy. Actually, I like the Forest Tile idea. That's great. I don't often like to settle on forest because later on you can chop it, which is great, or build a lumber mill, which is great. But that gets us basically all the resources. We can insta-buy this. We can work the wheat from turn one, which is a beautiful thing. Gets us all the cows and horses over here. Doesn't get this lapis lazuli, but it'll get enter our borders at some point one way or another. We won't work it, but that's okay. It's not that good of a tile to work anyway. We just want it in our borders. I like it. Forest tile. Excellent idea. Thanks for the suggestion. Let's go and finish that with the scout. <laughs> and to people who keep asking no, I will likely not be doing a let's play of the um of Fallout 4, not not at this time, just because I know it's like right now it's really big and I'd get lots of views. It's like just a bunch of free money if I'm going to be playing the game anyway. Um uh, it's just not how I tend to enjoy playing RPGs. I like to do things at my own pace, uh make my own decisions and I I will play very differently if I'm playing for an audience. Um and having to narrate things, and it's a very, very long game. Do you know how long of a Let's Play that would be? And I sort of want to finish it faster. So, no, likely not. Plus, a lot of people won't watch because of spoilers, either. So, no. Sorry to disappoint, and also, you know, sorry to leave a bunch of views just sitting out on the table that I'll never get to take advantage of, but, um, I just, I, that's, I don't tend to do those. Maybe after, as a second Let's Play, that's different. Most stable nation in history. So this is happiness. Of course, I'm at the bottom of that chart. Not a surprise. But of course, the AI gets bonuses to that, so. Of course I'm going to take Fountain of Youth. Just not first. No one is near here. Look, no one is even within imagining taking the Fountain of Youth. I can wait for the Fountain of Youth. If if things were different, if, um, if there was someone near the Fountain of Youth, then I would be rushing it. But it's going to be my second city. Or my third city, I suppose I should say. My second settler will be for the Fountain of Youth. Okay, we're still good over here. I should probably move this way. In case Sweden actually moves out with a Settler, I might actually declare war on him. And if the Settler is escorted, I may not be able to kill the Settler. Oh, that's annoying, but not the end of the world. I may be, not be able to kill the Settler, but I may be able to at least stop them from being able to actually expand. Which is all that would matter. Mm-hmm. Alright, so far, so good. I still have to, you know, guard this guy from barbarians. Who are stealing my culture and gold and science and all those things. Wait, 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 wait. The community balance patch must have changed the way wonders work. In the base game, they're all mountains. You can't enter them. Even Lake Victoria counts as a mountain. Shit. Okay, that's interesting. Does that change any of my plans? Not really. No, it's alright. It is a little bit annoying um, in that, like, if, if I settle here and I put, like, archers here, I won't be able to shoot over people who attack, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Yeah, Lake Victoria counts as a mountain. <laughs> and a lake. It actually counts as both. For, for building, um... For building buildings that required you to be adjacent to a mountain. God damn, man. 
Barbarians just stole a bunch of food. Well, at least we killed that one. Alright, doesn't look like the Swedes are coming this way. Alright. <clears throat> Which makes me wonder, where the hell are they deciding to colonize? Ugh, what did I lose this time? Seven culture. Freaking barbarians. I do like the new barbarian mechanic, though. It's wonderful. Stupid marsh. Marshes, marshes, marshes. Always slowing me down. Okay, uh, we got missions from city-states now, good. This one, yes, excellent. They want me to smash that. Hopefully I can do that soon. Um, looking good. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets. Okay. God, there's a lot of stuff going on on this map. I like it. Okay, you. Oh, you can't actually get that far. Alright, just do that. You sit there. Not that I expect the AI to declare war to take out my undefended settler. At least they wouldn't normal sieve, but who knows what this expansion brings to us. Alright, I like this spot. Yeah, and the water's not really giving us much. Give me a little preview. So annoying. Because here I get that preview. It's actually quite hard to get it to pop up for the tile you're on. We have so many resources. Alright. Let's do it. And I'm going to buy this right away. There we go. Just to ensure that no one can ninja it. Makes me feel a lot better. Oh, that's right. The AI may not be expanding because they may have not picked up pottery, which is needed for settlers. Excellent. All right, you go down there, you get over there, we're going to take out the barbarian encampment. Um, we are going to go for a monument right away so that we can get some border pushes out here. we got to compete against that uh, capital. Do I want to buy another tile? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, I don't really care if I lose these desert tiles, they're not a huge deal. The gold's just a wee bit too far away to be practical, plus there's backup gold over here. Um, we are working on that. I guess what might be a good idea is I could just buy this one or this one. Because it might push towards this wheat, which would be nice to not lose. You know what? I'm going to buy this desert tile, even though it's desert and therefore crappy. You know what? Let me do that. Cuts things off, ensures that we basically have ownership of this area. Doesn't give us anything right now, but strategically it's pretty strong. What the hell? Save cash the worker, that would be something else. Sweden has just declared war in Korea. It's not us! And yeah, I'm going to be happy with getting this tile. Doesn't help us. Saving money for the, uh, the worker is very good. But I think it's going to help us really a lot in the long run. I would be very mad if I started losing those tiles. And yes, we will uh, refrain from uh, settling anywhere near you in the future. In fact, we're going to be going west relatively soon. Okay, once we take care of this barbarian encampment, then I'll feel better about getting uh, workers down. Although that'll definitely be the thing um, in the capital to build. Actually, a granary first is probably better than the worker. And we still don't have to defend it, and it does give us a pretty big food boost. Although we still don't get to take advantage of your pantheon until we do get the worker. Oh, we could go and steal that worker. We have a good mission to make friends with Ify, so I'm just going to do that and leave their worker alone. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's, you know, damage, but we'll bounce back relatively quickly.
Someone else is asking why we didn't start with the, the uh, fountain. Because no one's going to steal the fountain. Yes, it's a better early world wonder for us, but we're going to get it real soon. No one's going to take that from us. I mean, probably not. God, I hope not. <laughs> Whereas this was a great site, even ignoring the um, Old Faithful. This was just a wonderful, wonderful site. Um, don't get me, that's really good. Do we want to rush that? Or do we want to get some more food? Oh, that's really a hard question to answer. I do like growing the cities. Crazy, thanks for the sub, the resub. City growth is really important, but that, like, that's a 60% boost to my science right now. You know what? I think that is too good to ignore. We're going to work it for now. Okay, French scout. Don't click. Ah, oh, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, do we want to grab anything else? Killing here, military unit gives us science. All military units heal for 20 points after killing something. City borders grow 25% faster. Cities gain 10 production and food when the borders expand. That scales up. All very nice, but I think I'm going to go back to working on tradition over here. Um, I'm going to grab justice here for the bonus to production in my capital, which I think will be quite nice. What does we get for opening this up? Ragey Peep, thank you very much for the sub. Thirty science when a citizen is born in your capital, scaling with era. Ten culture whenever you research a technology. Unlocks Parthenon. That's the other thing too, is we unlock a bunch of uh, world wonders. The free worker and the plus one movement for civilian units is supremely good. Food in every city. Signs from every city connection. That's why we went progress last time. It was insanely good. Oh, conscription got nerfed. It was every six citizens last time. Now it's every eight you get an extra unit. They nerfed it from our last game. God, they're, they're all pretty good. I'm going to be honest, Tradition is probably the weaker one out of the bunch at this point. You had a bunch of small bonuses for capital. Well, more great people in all cities is actually really, really strong. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and finish tradition because we didn't do it last time. It'll make it a little bit different. A little production boost right now is actually not terrible. Um, let's go with that, and you just tank up a little bit here. Actually, I'm betting this is worker's gonna get stolen. Oh, it would've been so nice if the worker had gotten stolen, because then I could have rescued it. You are gonna get survivalism too, so you heal even faster and have better defensive bonus, and you are just gonna heal up as well. And we'll see if we can get through there. No, we're not doing Petra. The Petra sucks in this version. Plus one gold per tile. Woo um, working on all the food tiles here. I didn't really check it after we finished our uh, colonists, but I'm happy with this. It's good. I'm good there. Finish the granary. Excellent. <laughs> we are working the engineer slot. Is that what we want? Three production. Three production might be slightly better than the extra two food. Plus, we do get the engineer, or the great engineer progress. 73 turns right now. But some interesting things can lead there. You know what? I like this. I think that's fine. Mm. Rename the city. Yeah. Thank you. So, the next person on the Extra Life Charity thing that gave $50 or more is Philip Charlie Joe... Hansen. 
Johansson over here. Maybe related to Scarlet. I don't know. Probably not. Okay, at least this Barbarian left. It's going to become very difficult to try to smash this thing down. Especially since Barbarians in this mod heal. Maybe only in their base, I'm not sure. But they definitely heal. And ugh, now they spawn another one. Jeepus. Um, yeah, probably a shock bonus. You tank up. You tank up, because we might get attacked. We're going to need you. Another Pantheon got founded. Um, I love how everyone's declaring war on each other and not on me. Thank goodness. Oh, man, it would have been nice to steal that Swedish worker, but we're not going to do that. That is a lot of barbarians around here. Oh, they both attacked. If we kill this one, we'll actually get some um, some things over there. But then we'll probably lose the scout, so I can't do that. You go ahead and attack there, though. Because at least you get flanking bonuses and stuff. The scout should hopefully be able to continue to just tank the damage with its survivalism. Oh, I should be um, I should be protecting these guys, is what I should say. It's only worth, like, what, five? And then we do get more influence as well. So that's good. Uh, is there anyone else we'd want to protect? There's a donation. Just came in to me. Speedy Savon, hey! Thank you! Thank you for all your videos. You have a friend in Alberta. Hope you tank up on happiness to take advantage of Lapis Lazuli 25% Golden Age. That would be nice. Although, knowing me, I'll probably be at negative happiness for the entirety of the game. Because uh, that's the way it goes. Okay, we're going to clear that. Boom. Did we get plus one tourism? I just saw a little plus one tourism thing pop up. Gain culture. I saw a little uh, tourism envelope. Oh, historic moment! Because your civilization completed a global city-state quest, your tourism with all known civs is increased by one. Woo! That probably scales later. Um, this should be relatively safe to do, hopefully. I might, this barbarian might be able to kill my scout. Which would be really miserable making. No, he didn't. Good. There we go. More culture from killing his units. Plus, they still wanted me to kill some barbarians, which is great. Um, we are officially allied, which is amazing. We decay at half the rate. Half? 25? Whatever. We decay slower because we are Greece, so we're going to be allied for a good long time. This also gives all of our military units plus 4% um, combat strength. In addition to that, we are getting um, we're getting faith. And do they actually have olives? Yes, they do have the olives, so we have olives over here. Um, resources available. Panama City 1. Oh, you haven't actually improved the olives. There, there we go. That's why. Okay. Uh, rest. Whew, that was that was challenging. All right, we have finished our monument. Good. We're working on the worker. Excellent. We're getting lots of food from that tile. Wonderful. Still working that, which I'm happy about. Um, Growth is good. i do that. Keep working the engineer. I'll lock it in case I have to. There we go. We're going to do that. So we get a little bit of production from this guy. It'd be nice to have this tile, but I'm not going to buy it. I'm actually surprised it's not growing in that direction first. Yes, there's Lapis Lazuli on this, but it's also a hill. So normally, um, it doesn't expand. It tends to prioritize flat terrain, which would have meant the Oasis. But they may have changed some of the mechanics. All right. Stonehenge got built on turn 70 or 71, depending on how you look at it. So, we probably could have done it, but you can't guarantee it. Heal up. And then we'll move you out. There's another barbarian encampment here. We haven't seen any barbarians come out of this area for a while, so it may have gotten stamped down. We'll see. Um, I do want to get the, um, the worker done, but then after that, we are going to go ahead and get a settler so that we can take advantage of that uh, fountain. 
before um, Ify grows in that direction. They won't, and we'll be able to get there and even get the Lapis Lazuli just fine. Most likely, I'm going to go and settle on this desert hill right over here. Give us another coastal city, which is some good um, options. Decent amount of resources nearby. In fact, oh no, we can't get the sheep. I could settle like on one of these sheep so that I can get this one over here, but it's not a big deal. In fact, there might be more tiles over there. And actually, if I go south, then I can't work the Lapis Lazuli. So no, I think I like this spot. It's going to be very defensible. We got the Mongols! Clearly they're not close, though. So that's good. I said Mongols, right? Yeah. Okay. Mongols the Huns. <laughs> Bonus science. Probably still good to work on. It's weird to, you know, not grow quite as quickly as I might normally like, but it's going to be fine. Most advanced people in history based on technologies, yes? Uh, why isn't it the most literate people? I always like that one. We are third, which is really good given the difficulty setting. Of course, it shouldn't be a surprise since we are, in fact, working Old Faithful over there, which is still giving us a massive science boost. All right, you are basically healed enough, Mr. Scoot. So go over there. All right, borders have grown to there. Where are you going to go next? Okay, more wheat, which I can't complain about. There's something to be said about buying that tile, in fact. So that we can get it right away. Maybe I should have done that. No, we're going to need more workers soon. I'll hold off on the tile. Sweden declares war on Rome. I'm just sitting here. No one's declaring war on me, despite the fact that I have, like, no units whatsoever. Okay, yes, the barbarian camp got cleared out, which is what I expected. Nice. Very nice. So we'll be able to take the Fountain of Youth unopposed. Declare War in Vatican City. Okay. Should actually check the coast and just in case there might be fish. Yes, of course we'll be friends, England. You're nowhere near me. In fact, what I should do is work on some sort of friendship with uh, the Swedes, if at all possible. Go on. Yeah, but we've got, like, we've got nothing we can do. We can't trade right now. All right, pop over there. Okay, looks pretty fishless. I repeat, fishless. Yeah, you go and sit on that, because we're going to want to make sure to improve it relatively soon. We want roads going on over here. You have grown. And that's fine. So it'll work that because we're most likely to improve it and stay working that over there. Okay. Have you ever heard of the game Banished? Yes. If you actually search my channel, you will find many, many, many videos on Banished. Many, many, many. Mmm. You need a tech to get the fishes. You're right. After we finish riding, we'll get fishing. Sure, let's be friends with more people. Although, technically, Korea's at war with people. Um, sorry, I can't. Although, maybe I should have said yes. I actually don't know where Caesar is. We probably could have declared war and been really safe. I probably should have said yes. I just went without thinking. Eh. How bad could it be? We need to build some trade routes soon. I that some of the barbarian problems have been dealt with. That'd be really nice for our finances. But I will build that settler first. Do, 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 do. Work on that. Classical era. All right, Gustavus. We should be listening to some um, Sabaton. Gustavus, Adolphus. Hey, all of us from Ify. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. All right, reveals paper on the map. Although I don't think paper is on the map. I think we mostly get it from buildings. And we've unlocked that library, which isn't quite as strong as in the base version, but it's still obviously good for science. 
So there's Korea. Historic moment. Plus one tourism because of new era. All right. Get them fishies. We got Korea wandering around here. We've got a barbarian between my two cities, which is interesting. I wonder if a barbarian encampment spawned in the wilderness here. Go that way. Excellent. Roads, so clearly some more Korean tech over here. And another settler. Alright. Um, I don't know if the fountain gives uh, promotion in this version. It doesn't say anything about it. All right, go and stand on the set on the worker just to make sure everything's okay. Five turns to the settler. Um, I probably could have changed the production here actually to make that settler go faster. Uh, I'm gonna do this for the XP. It won't kill it, but still gives us a little bit more experience points on our scout. 